to a story you'll see only on two tonight, a bold truck break in in broad daylight. Hello, I'm Dominique Soxa. I'm Bill Bansa. Thanks for joining us. The thief tried relentlessly to break into this truck, and when he finally did, he grabbed an item that's worth more than its face value. It happened in Los Cucos parking lot off of Beltway 8 in Humble. Channel 2's Brandon Walker spoke with the victim and joins us live now from that restaurant. Brandon? And Dominique, the clue here would be the vehicle the alleged thief is seeing driving. That's a black four-door Mercedes-Benz. The man whose truck was broken into this morning in this parking lot says after he posted surveillance video of the ordeal, someone else commented that a person driving a similar car burglarized them too. Tonight, the Harris County Sheriff's Office is working this case. First get in my door, he messed up the door lock. He tried to punch it in. At first, says Dwayne Cannon, the crook didn't succeed. He came back here and he kind of he kind of raked over the window. I'm not really sure the process how he broke it. But he tried, tried again. This morning, Cannon says while he was at a meeting at this Los Cucos restaurant along the Beltway at Wilson Road, someone broke into his truck. Less than five minutes before I stepped out of uh, Los Cucos. That's how quickly Cannon says the break-in went down. And as is often the case. And you can kind of see him struggling with it. There's video of the heist in action. It starts as Cannon mentioned. After pulling up, the man can be seen near the lock on the driver's side door. When that didn't work, he was able to knock in the rear driver's side window. He got some sort of device. You don't see him swing. You don't see him do anything, but looks like he raked something across my window. Whatever he did, he got in, taking off with a parting gift before fleeing eastbound on the feeder, Cannon tells us. I had a computer bag in there, and I had an MP3 player in there, but the most important thing was my uh, Microsoft Surface Pro. Important, Cannon says. Sentimental, too. You know, I do a lot of missions work. I just got back from Africa Friday and uh, had a lot of pictures on there from our trip. And Cannon offering a $2,000 reward to anyone with information that leads to his belongings being returned. He describes the person in the video as a thin built black man, approximately five feet, eight inches tall, wearing a black hat, a white t-shirt, long red shorts, black socks with tennis shoes. And we had the opportunity to speak to the manager here at this restaurant. He tells us that he too is working with law enforcement so that the person seen in that video can get caught soon. We are live tonight in Humble. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brandon. And if you would like to watch the video in Brandon's story again, or if you think you might recognize the suspect and like to take a closer look, we've posted it to our KPRC Facebook page.